Hi, you can revoke a signed request or expire it via having an expiry date on the signed request. But what if you might want to revoke or expire signed requests uh, from the quotes or the opportunity record or contract record or any other object rec uh, record that you start from uh, directly? For instance, you have an opportunity and you haven't uh, talked to your customer for six months and you would say, okay, I'm going to uh, close loss this opportunity and I want all the sign requests that are there also to close, uh, re be revoked or be uh, um, expired automatically. So obviously you would create a flow for that, a triggered flow on your opportunity or your quote, or you might, you might have a screen flow to, uh, to do that, but this is now possible via the actions that uh, sign button provides. In this screen flow, I of course select first my, uh, my sign request, and then I'm gonna create, gonna add an action. The action can be that we're gonna revoke this sign request, but it can also be that we're going to expire this sign request. Let's go for the expire. The expire and the revoke will be exactly the same in uh, in setup. But uh, yeah, it's just like a status that's different. So expired means that, okay, you didn't sign it. And the revoke is, okay, we, we're going to pull it out. It's not being able to be signed anymore. So let's go for the expire. Obviously, we have to indicate which sign request we want. So here I can just select my sign request that I, uh, that I have uh, selected earlier via the uh, get records um, action in the flow. And uh, in my example, I say I do not want to send any emails. So I'm going to set this to true. If you want to send emails, if you want to send the revoke emails, the expire emails, that's perfectly possible. You can just switch this off and then the uh, silent will not be taken into account or you can set this to false and then it will not be taken into account or you can add a variable here that maybe because of certain calculations inside the flow, you can have set whatever you want it to have set. So I'm going to set this to true. I don't want to have any emails. So now I'm done with my flow and I'm going to let's save this. And if I run the flow, I would expect that the sign request is uh, going to be set to expired, but nobody got any notifications. Let's take a look. Okay. So this flow doesn't have any screen, so it's not very interesting, but let's take a look at my, our sign request and see that it actually expired. Yep, it's now set to status expired, and as expected, no extra flows, uh, sorry, no extra emails were sent. So my flow is working perfectly. 